we're going to run a little test here, right? We're going to have these people drink what they think is beer, but there's no alcohol. Correct. Some people think it's just a biological disease, period. But we're saying that's part of it. But the psychological factors and the social factors and the cultural factors play also a big role. And so what do we expect to happen? Well, we're going to see if uh, we get a sort of a placebo effect in the sense that people, if they think they're drinking alcohol and they're in a, a bar setting and they're with other people, how much of the effects are due to alcohol and how much are due to the setting and the expectancy and the contact high. Dr. George and I are now observing behind a mirror while Dr. Marlott plays bartender. Here's the science. I'm looking for the usual types of changes that you see in people after they have a drink, which are being a little more relaxed, uh, being a little more sociable, perhaps a little giggly, being a little looser. Whatever you would get. Those are the typical types of things that happen when folks normally drink alcohol. And so as a consequence, those are their expectations. And that belief is so strong that just believing that they've been drinking can stir up those effects. So I'm going to tell you something now about what you've been drinking. Somebody asked about what brands. These were the beers. They're alcohol-free. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Hey. It's really cool. You guys were carrying on like you were just drinking, you know, a lot of beer. Not that I've ever done that. But... <laughs> so, let me ask you this. Do you think it would change the way you drink in the future? You could still have fun without getting drunk. Uh, that might be one conclusion. Yeah. <laughs> so, I just noticed as soon as you guys found out, nobody's drinking anymore. <laughs>